Bromeliads are a wonderful addition to any garden, and in Queensland at least, you can't really call yourself a gardener without one or two of these in your collection. I guess it's the endless variety of bromeliads that gets people excited about them, whether it's something like Spanish moss which trails from a tree, or whether it's a humble earth star that grows in the leaf litter of a forest floor. They all have a basic pattern, a whirl of leaves, but then things get complicated. Some grow on rocks, some grow on trees, and some grow in the ground. One of the problems that beginner gardeners face, and myself included, is that we generally see them growing in pots. And that makes us think that all of them need some type of soil. And while they do often need some sort of a growing medium, what's in it can make a difference to the success of the plants you grow. And the reason for this is that one thing that all bromeliads have in common is they don't have deep tap roots. And while they do enjoy moisture, they don't need to be constantly wet. Potting mix is really good for conserving moisture, but it's bark based. And as it breaks down, it can retain too much moisture for even the tropical bromeliads to enjoy. And that means it needs to be opened up. And I use this composted pine bark which allows air to move into the soil and water to drain out. It assists drainage. So I mix these 50-50 and I use this mix for most of my bromeliads. But for the terrestrial ones, and I've got three examples here, they grow in the ground in the wild and they need better drainage. And the solution for them is to use equal parts of gravel, composted pine bark and potting mix. And that seems to work really well. Finally, Spanish moss. This plant just uses trees as a convenient support. The hairs on the leaves take in moisture from humidity and nutrients and feed the plant. They need to be experimented with in the garden. They like lots of sunshine, so about six hours of full sun is really good for them. But try different types of tree in your garden and you'll find that they'll like certain trees better than others. Norfolk Island pine and paper barks are really good partners for Spanish moss. There's always something to look forward to if you grow bromeliads.